Well, notwithstanding the resources expanded, former Minister of Health Dr. Dwayne Sands noted that Bahamians have paid an incredible price. Of the 213 countries or territories, the Bahamas ranks 136th in total or absolute number of cases, with 3,467 cases. But in terms of number of cases per capita, this little country ranks 36 in the world. That's 36 out of 215 countries or territories. We have a case incidence rate per million, which is twice the average of all countries in the world. 8,797 per million as compared to an average of 4,075 per million. We have the 38th highest incidence of deaths from COVID-19 in the world per capita. Dr. Sands also noted that the Bahamas has done a much better job with testing, but he says it's still not enough. Widespread random testing will allow us to approximate 152 tests per 100,000 suggested by the Harvard Institute experts to be a safe level for reopening. For the Bahamas, that equates to 600 tests per day. 600 tests per day. You see, diagnostic testing for COVID-19 is critical to tracking the virus, understanding the epidemiology, informing case management, and suppressing transmission. We have appropriately and reasonably relied on RT-PCR testing, but I call today for the Bahamas to embrace antigen testing as a far cheaper alternative to RT-PCR testing. Not a sensitive, but certainly a $20 or $30 test, which can be supported by RT-PCR testing.